So we're talking about finding slope today. So here's, we're saying that dy dx, um, here Bear, you said that this is delta, so it's change in y over change in x, right? We agree that it's the limit of the change in y over change in x as we move just a very small amount of change in x, right? And we said small amount change. Say, put your pencil down, the tip of your pencil on the paper, and think about moving it the smallest amount possible and let that thinking about it be a small enough move, so arbitrarily small move, right? So we're going to plug, wow, we're going to plug this in to here. So we said that we're going to fill in the blanks here, and that would look like this, wouldn't it? For your professor next year, it's going to be really important that you use all this notation. So we're going to say that f prime at x is equal to the limit as the change in x approaches 0. And then we're going to write this out. f of x is 5. Every place that we find an x, Jonathan, we're going to put in x plus change in x. So it's 5x right here. So we'll put in 5x plus change in x plus 1 at the end, right? And then it says we're supposed to subtract f of x. So there's my subtraction sign. And I'm going to put this thing in a box. So I remember to subtract the whole thing out. And it's 5x plus 1. How many of you can see that this thing simplifies out? How does this top piece simplify out? What's in front of the parentheses? There's a 1 here. So if I multiply the 1 through, I just get this, don't I? All right, we'll just get this, right? We have an x here and a negative x here. What's x minus x? 0 and 0 plus change in x is change in x. Good job. Right? So there we are with this. So like that. Now remember, what we want to do, Gordon, is we want to, we want to let this change of x equal 0. How come we can't do that here? What would happen if I took out this change of x and let it equal 0 here? No, I'd have a domain issue, wouldn't I? Right? It would be undefined here, wouldn't it? So uh, keep in mind, our goal here is to get this, is to get our change in x to 0. First thing I'm going to do is this. I'm going to clean this up. So I'm going to simplify this a little bit. How can I simplify this? What can I do with that 5 out in front? Yeah, this, good job, uh, Gordy. I'm going to distribute here, right? And what about this negative 1 here? Yeah, distribute that also. So I'm just going to rewrite this. This is what's important. When you rewrite, you don't have to write your f prime at x again, but you have to continue to write your limit process thing. So limit as the change in x approaches 0. And you're going you're gonna to keep doing that until you finally are able to do this. So 5 times x is 5x. 5 times change of x. Five changes of x, right? Do I distribute this five to this one out here? No, it's not part of the the variable. So it's one minus five x minus one all over change in x. Now what? Yeah, get rid of common factor. Uh, common. Uh, common elements here. So we have positive 5x's here, don't we? We have negative 5x's there. They cross out, don't they? What else? 1 and a negative 1. I'm going to write this thing one more time. I'm going to get is equal to the limit as the change in x approaches 0 of 5 change of x over change of x. Is equal to what? Is equal to 5. So the limit as change in x approaches 0 of 5. This is a really stupid question, but it's, it, but it's legitimate. What happens here if change of x goes to 0? What happens to this thing? It doesn't, ha doesn't matter, does it? Because change in x isn't a variable here anymore. So what's true about the slope of a line? If the slope of a line is 5 at one point, then what's true about the slope of a line at another point? It's still 5, right? That's what we know for sure. We're going to look at parabolas and other stuff later, and that's not going to be true anymore, right? Um, uh, imagine a parabola in your head. If you're going from left to right, the slope of your parabola changes all over the place, doesn't it? 
But here, Jonathan, it's not going to change at all, is it? So this is, I think, what we expected, right? Okay. Everybody say bye. Caitlin, come on up here. Come say goodbye to everybody. Goodbye.